Hey y'all, it's me, Tia Torres. Um, so I figured I would jump in on this hot topic of this guy named Wade Wilson, who has been blasted all over TikTok. I don't mean blasted, but I mean talking about him. Um, he's out of Florida, and he just got convicted uh, for, and, and I hate using the word unaliving, and I know that's what is supposed to be used on TikTok, but I'm sorry when someone does what he did, Unaliving seems to downplay it. Someone take a chance. Cause I've seen some of the news in law enforcement, TikToks, just say it. Um, he just got convicted of double homicide um, on two women. And um, not that other people in prison haven't done the same, but he was pretty graphic um, um, in explaining what he did, um, in confessing to a family member and then, of course, backtracking and saying that, no, he didn't do it. Um, but the reason I'm here is seeing the fascination that women are having for him. And a lot of it, you know, the people on, are blaming the book talk crowd, which, um, you know, I, I don't necessarily blame any group. I just see a lot of women really obsessing over him. And as a former prison wife and someone who has been around the prison world many, many years, I thought, you know what, I should talk on this, right? I mean, who would better know than me? I've had four husbands who were all in prison at one point in their life, and one is one or two, three. Three still are. Three? I don't even know anymore. Um, but this is the part that gets interesting, okay? Um, in one of the TikTok uh, pages that I was scrolling through, I saw that somebody used a word, a particular word, and said, oh, these women are this. And I'll talk about it in a second. But when I saw that word, I said, hold on a second. <laughs> I know that word. Because I have had it here on a post-it note for years. Um, because it was something that I noticed and thought, huh, is that me? Um, now, before you, you know, don't worry. I'm not, like, obsessing over this guy. That's not where I'm going with this. But it's this strange phenomenon, or, or for lack of a better word, that women have, not just over guys in prison, but taking it to a whole different level about guys in prison that even the normal convict find appalling. Yes, inmates have standards, <laughs> okay? Um, there are just certain things that they're like, eh, eh. So this is where this conversation is going. The word I speak of, and I, hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly, um, is called um, hybristophilia. Okay? Now, I'm going to talk about some of the definitions of it. It's pretty interesting. So it says here, hybristophilia is a paraphilia. Hold on. Let me tell you what a paraphilia is. A paraphilia is an experience of reoccurring or intense sexual arousal to atypical objects, places, situations, fantasies, behaviors, or individuals. It has also been defined as a sexual interest in anything other than a legally consenting human partner. Okay, well, we're not talking about that. We're talking about humans here, but interesting. So now let's go back to his, um, hyperstophilia. Hyperstophilia is a paraphilia involving sexual interest in and an attraction to those who commit crimes. Okay. Um, many high-profile criminals, particularly those who have committed atrocious crimes, receive fan mail in prison that is sometimes amorous or sexual, presumably because of this phenomenon. And that's the word I just used, right? Um, with While less common, the aggressive type of histamine a hybristophilia can occur in men with female serial killers. In some cases, admirers of these criminals have gone on to marry the object of their affections in prison. In popular culture, this phenomenon is also called the Bonnie and Clyde syndrome. Now, think about it. Ma Charlie Manson had so many women attracted to him. Ted Bundy, too many to list. Ted Bundy even got some woman pregnant. I think he got married. The, the Night Stalker, Richard Ramirez, got married. And you think, ew, who would marry someone like that? 
which is kind of what's going on with Wade Wilson, I bet you right now he's got a million marriage proposals. And I get it. You know, he walks into a room and there's a presence. He's six foot six, got all the tattoos, you know, big guy. So you notice him. And he does have this air about him when he walks in. Like I, when I, I watched videos of him walking into the courtroom. He like owns the room. Um, but then you have to think about what he did and what's really going on up here. Now, here are some of the um, reasons that professors and psychologists and psychiatrists feel that mainly women might have hyperstophilia. One is a low self-esteem or the lack of a father figure. Not me. I mean, that's not why. Some believe they can change a man as cruel and powerful as a serial killer, which I think that's a lot of what's going on here with Wade Wilson. Others see the little boy that the killer once was and seek to nurture him. Definitely a reason, because I'm seeing those comments. A few hope to share in the media spotlight or get a book or movie deal. Yeah, I can say that too. Then there's the notion of the perfect boyfriend. She knows where he is at all times. She knows he's thinking about her. While she can claim that someone loves her, she does not have to endure the day-to-day -day issues involving um, what's involved in most relationships. There's no laundry to do, no cooking for him, and no accountability to him. She can keep the fantasy charged up for a long time. That would be me. <laughs> okay, that would be me. So I guess I am a hybristophiliac, if that's a word. But that being said, again, within the prison world, even the inmates have standards. And I tend to follow the same as they do. Um, you know, those women that go for guys that have like brutally, well, here, let me take it, let me take it back one step. First of all, within the prison world, crimes against women and children, boom done and done like you don't mess with that uh-uh and in some prisons those inmates are kept separate away from the other inmates or they'll get unalived okay um but i am intrigued not with wade wilson i am intrigued with some of the women that are intrigued with men like wade wilson who have just committed horrific crimes. Not like I went to rob a bank and I panicked. I started shooting up in the air. Someone got killed by accident. Okay. That's like a circumstantial thing. Um, but like the serial killers, the serial rapists, um, the ones who torture and just, you know what I mean, right? The Wade Wilsons. Um, hey, like I said, I work around the prison system. I'm all about second chances. I'm all about helping the underdog. But ladies, don't be fooled. This guy ain't no second chance, third chance, fourth chance, a hundredth chance going to cure what's going on up in here in his head. All right? And this is coming from someone who's been around these guys most of my life. But I am going to continue this conversation on my podcast series 25 to wife um, you can find it right here on tiktok um, it's going to be under my subscription platform you can also sign up for my other platforms um, patreon under my name tia torres and it'll be there as well so i just wanted to kind of get my message out there about this insanity going on with this dude wade wilson and i'm going to be having more conversation about it with my ex-husband who is still a convict and get his thoughts and other inmates thoughts straight from the prison. Stay tuned. Be sure to check it out, 25 to Wife, here on my subscriptions. And a final message to Wade Wilson and those who just love him. Remember, a king cobra is also a beautiful animal to look at. Just don't get too close.